So you've been given a challenging business question, like how can our team improve customer retention? You know the data holds the answer, but how do you extract those insights and present them in a way that's clear, persuasive, and pleasing to the eye? Hi, I'm Chrissy with Looker Developer Relations. Turning raw data into a compelling story can be tough. There's a lot to consider. In this video, I propose a seven-step framework that uses Looker reports to help you improve your data storytelling skills and craft data stories that answer critical business questions. Let me first highlight the seven steps, then we'll break down each one. The key steps are understand your audience, identify your core purpose, structure your narrative, choose the right visualizations, empower your users with data context and interactivity, use ethical data practices and prioritize accessibility. As we walk through this framework, I'm going to introduce Looker report features to help you target each step. I'll also offer you framing questions to help you tell a good story every time. Just to let you know, I don't always do these steps in order. Sometimes I pull together relevant visualizations from my own data story and then make modifications as I present the data to different audiences. Before you even create a Looker report, the most crucial step is to understand your audience. Use questions like these to craft stories that are focused, impactful, and actionable. First, who will be consuming this data story? Start by identifying the key people or personas that are interested in this report. Think about their role or department, whether they're a subject matter expert or a beginner. If someone asked you for this report, find out if it's for themselves or for a different audience. Next, ask, what are their interests and priorities? If you know your audience well, you can make a few assumptions about this. If you don't know them, it's time to do some research. Figure out why they're asking for this data. What are the key problems they're trying to solve? This will help guide you to data that is relevant for their goals. Finally, what level of detail is appropriate for this audience? Ask this throughout the story building process. For every chart and visualization, ask if the level of detail is appropriate for this specific audience. If the audience wants to reference data quickly, you might want to target your key insights with a shorter report or put supporting information on a separate page. For report viewers who need to see the details, you can create drills so they can understand a finer level of detail. To define the core purpose of your story, find the one guiding thread you want your audience to follow throughout the report. When you craft this, you can avoid biasing your analysis by framing the statement to understand, identify, assess, or explore your data. Some examples are, we want to understand what factors are driving customer churn. Maybe we need to identify opportunities for revenue growth in a new market. Maybe our goal is to assess the effectiveness of a recent marketing campaign, or perhaps we're exploring potential areas for cost reduction. Highlight this core purpose in a Looker report with scorecards, titles, descriptions, and images. For example, to assess the effectiveness of an ad campaign, we might want to highlight conversion and click-through rates over time with a clean time series chart at the top of the page. Or let's say we want to understand what's driving customer churn. A scorecard with our current churn percentage could be front and center. We can add a spark line to the scorecard too to show how churn has changed over time. Craft a compelling narrative by structuring your data effectively. Highlight the most important information by placing key metrics at the top or center of your report. Use larger font sizes and bolder colors or themes to emphasize key comparisons. Organize main topics with pages and group related information together with sections. There are so many visualizations available in a Looker report. From column charts to waterfalls, from pie charts to maps, the right visualization can bring your data to life and can make it easier for your viewer to understand your story. Align your chart types with your core purpose. In the video's description, I've included a link to guide you to help you choose the right visualization. 
For example, you'll find out that a scatter plot is best for highlighting correlation between two variables, and a funnel chart can help you visualize how a metric changes over sequential stages. Tables are excellent for displaying detailed data in a structured manner. Use conditional formatting to highlight data points that meet certain criteria, such as top performing campaigns or areas of concern, making the data more engaging and insightful. For every chart, ask, is this too much detail for my audience? Does this visualization add context to the report? And is this the appropriate chart to showcase this data for this story? Depending on your audience, your users might be inspired to explore the data themselves. Looker reports have controls to help guide your users to useful insights. When you set up a default date range, you can target your date range to a specific time frame, but your users can use that same control to search for patterns at larger or smaller time scales. Another great control is a drill down control, which lets your users see the data at a more granular level. For example, a drill down can shift geographic granularity from state to city. Looker reports also allow for cross filtering. This means your user can click a bar or element on a chart to filter other charts in the same group by that same dimension. Use interactive features like controls and tooltips to allow viewers to customize a report and keep them curious and engaged. Data has power. It's important to use it ethically and responsibly. Be transparent about your data sources and avoid cherry-picking data to fit a preconceived narrative. Ensure your data is accurate and your story is objective. Be sure to prioritize accessibility. The colors in the provided themes and layouts are intentionally crafted by Looker to offer you a good basis for building accessible charts. When you're done creating your report, check for sufficient color contrast, large enough fonts, and alternative text for visualizations and images. We've now gone through a framework to help you tell a compelling data story, and we've reviewed features that help you tell that story with a Looker report. Now, use those Looker reports to build your own compelling data story. I would absolutely love it if you post an image and description of your first dashboard to the Looker community. I've included the link below. And tag me there, at Chrissy A. I'm excited to see what you develop. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to chat again.